Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. I just had a great day. I, uh, I do karate once a week and I got done with my session. So I'm feeling good and I'm also really excited about this mini course that's coming up, especially because it should be dropping real soon and if we do it right tomorrow. Today I was talking about special effects or in other words the, the internal workflows or integrations when it comes to automation. Now it's two different kinds of things. It's like the difference between like a practical effect and then and then a CG uh, computer-based visual effect. So when we're talking about automation, not everything can be automated. That's just that's just how it is. And sometimes a human has to actually touch the machine. One of the best ways I can think about it is a roller coaster. A roller coaster is is pretty much automated, but there still has to be a human there that hits the button when everybody's all locked in and ready to go. And that's, of course, for safety and to make sure that it's a good ride. Automation can be the exact same way where at a certain point, a human's got to touch the machine. Either somebody had a meeting and we need to know what's the outcome of that meeting or somebody did a coaching call and we need to leave notes on the call along with some follow-up, or it can be something completely outside the system, like maybe somebody asked for a frequently asked question, for example, and we need to go ahead and trigger that to go out and, and follow up with folks. And then when it comes to integrations, it's about talk, uh, getting two different systems to talk together, and it's usually always uh, based at the database level, meaning that there's you know one data table talking to another data table. Maybe there's something in between, like, like an integration tool such as Make or, or Zapier or one of those kinds of things. But you're passing data from one system to the next, and then that's causing some kind of automation to go. Or you're sending data outside your CRM, doing something with it, and then bringing it back in so the CRM can go ahead and send it out. So I'm excited to talk about that because that's really the, the magic. That's the, the, the sprinkles on it, where if you do it right, people aren't going to be sure you did anything at all. But if they sit back and think about it, they're going to scratch their head and be like, wow, that was actually really cool. So stay tuned. Got some exciting stuff coming up for you. And have a great day or night or morning or afternoon whenever you're watching this.